What's up, YouTube? Um, today we'll be continuing the series where we learn to make our first game in Unity. And uh, yeah, so if you want to open up your the project in Unity, so where we left off was that um, in our game we were able to make the camera follow the player as well as add player movement along this cylinder that we have here. And if you want to see what that looks like. If you want it, so you can go back to the first tutorial. Here's what it looks like. Just, uh, yep, there you go. And today we'll be adding a rotating cylinder, um, some obstacles to dodge on it, and some death sequences, I guess you could call it. So, yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, so kicking it off, um, we will be starting out with. I thought our cylinder was a little small, this is all preference, but actually, not really preference at this point, but I was thinking about increasing the scale to 1.5, keeping the 90 right here, and changing Z to 1.5. Um, obviously, as we can see in our game area, that it is in our player, and we definitely don't want that, so if you want to change the Y to, I found 1 point, uh, sorry, negative 1.29 um, to be approximately the same distance as it was when it was smaller um, from the cube. So yeah, that's how we're going to start it off. Um, after that, we're going to want to rotate the cylinder, so we're going to create a script for that. Okay, so if we go into our um, scripts over here and right click to go to create a new C sharp script, then we can name it cylinder uh, I'm gonna name it Cylinder Rotate. Um, you can name it something to that extent. And yeah, if we let it load up. Um, so here we're gonna assign it to the player, and we can see that we have it down here. And double click, tap to go into it. It's gonna load up in Visual Studio. Okay, so what we first want to do is create a public game object, and we want to name this cylinder. Very simple. Um, and then we're going to do that so we can access um, our rotating our cylinder so that we can actually rotate it um, from the player input. So if we go into void update and type make an if statement. Um, I'm going to start out with if input dot get key um, d. You can see this line of code right here. I'm going to create brackets for that. And you want to uh, put in cylinder, accessing our game object right here, dot transform dot rotate. And this is going to be a vector 3 that we're rotating on, because it's 3D. Um, 0F, 90F times time dot delta time, comma, and 0F. And if we want to close that off, we're going to do this um, the same for the A key. Just copy. Um, Okay, so if you want to copy the code that I just um, put in here, I just copied the code from up here and made a few changes, such as um, I made it A instead of the D, um, kept this cylinder.transform.rotate, and added a negative symbol onto the 90 value so that it is going in the opposite direction um, as we want to intend. So if we save this and head back out into Unity, we should see that it is loading up here in the player um, a cylinder game object and we want to go over here to the sample scene grab the cylinder and drag it into there so now if we um, play this we should see that um, oopsies press pause real quick if we go on the cylinder object and head up to its rotation um, after we play it 
we should see that in fact it is rotating when we um, press these keys that we set for it. And you can set whatever keys you want for it, I, that's just personal preference and that's what I found to be um, most common among starting Unity. Okay, now that we've added that uh, factor where we can rotate the cylinder, we of course need obstacles to dodge. Um, so to do that, we're going to create a new object by right-clicking in Sample Scene Area. Um, we're going to rename it Obstacle. Um, yep. I guess you can name it whatever you want. Um, I just find that is the best answer to it. So we're going to create a cube under the thing that um, obstacle. But you can do that by right clicking on it and creating a cube. This is um, you want to make sure you right click on this one because it will make it a child of it, and that's what we need. Um, so we're going to press F to focus on it. Um, my bad. You're supposed to go back into the obstacle and reset its transformation. So it's back to where we uh, on the actual cylinder, and right now it's inside of the cube. So we actually want to move this. Um, select the cube object and zoom out. We just want to separate it from the player right now. Um, I have found that this is just my personal preference, and I would recommend it. But I like the cubes to be a certain scale and that scale is um, 0 0.65 by 1 and by 1 and that is just so it's not the same width as the player so it's easier to dodge um, so if we want to move it just a tad bit about that far from the player over to right here press F to focus on it um, and right now it's not currently resting on the cylinder that we have so if we want to move it down just a little bit so that it is touching it we can do that and now well, maybe you can move it just a little bit inside of it too that's just what I like to do and if we want to take the process of um, moving them I mean duplicating them and moving them wherever you want along the um, cylinder just as long as it is not past this first game object and is not um, at the same uh, let's see Z position as it feel free to skip ahead for this part I will just be duplicating and moving them just around the scene um, let's put that one there duplicate space them out right now I'm going to include uh, about four of these cubes. Um, that's just how I like to do the first level. I think it's pretty easy that way. I'm going to leave the first cube where it is. Um, press F to focus on the second cube. And I'm going to move it over so that it is um, on the side up here. Gonna rotate it so that it's standing vertically. I just not move Gonna move that 90 degrees. So it's facing that way, resting slightly inside of it. Go to this cube, change it up a bit. I'm gonna leave it where it is actually. And then the final cube I decided actually for this part. How we just um let's see where was I? Um let's make this a two part thing that you have to dodge so you can have the player staying on the side uh of the screen only. So I'm gonna leave that one where it is, duplicate it, move it outward, focus on it, move it down, I'm gonna rotate it on Z nine degrees. And there we go. Um, now we have our obstacles. We want to take a upward view, all of them. You can do that by pressing um, 
you can take the look at certain angles of things, such as if you want to look at how it looks up from above, you can simply head over here to the perspective area and press the Y. Same with the Z and the X. There's our obstacles, there's our player, and now if we play it, we should see, okay, I want to maximize it, we should see that in fact, oh, whoopsies, forgot something, if we, now we have to take the obstacle and drag it onto the cylinder object so that it is um, a child of the cylinder, so that it rotates with the game object as well, um, the cylinder. So now if we play and watch it, it should rotate all the squares so we can dodge them. Crazy stuff. Um, here if we see that we hit one, we don't exactly stop, but we can in fact keep moving. And that's a problem. Same with that falling off. I'll just fix that real quick. Um, see that right there. We can go to our player. And if we want to change, um, sorry, we have to lock something real quick. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to freeze the position of the um, player's rotation on the rigid body, sorry, the position um, on the X um, factor because you don't want him falling off to the right or the left. Um, and it will seem to get messed up if we lock it on the Y as well. So um, that is what we want to do for that part so he does not fall off to the right or left. Alright, that is it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And tell me what you want to see um, tutorials on in the future. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.